welcome my viewer in this video i'll share with you how you can insert the venn diagram using microsoft powerpoint so i'm going to play uh for you an animation effect of this particular venn diagram that i've inserted so i'll go on to the slide mode and our topic is how to draw venn diagrams using microsoft powerpoint so when you see the way how my Venn diagram is appearing. The Venn diagram is appearing segments by segment. So it is very simple to do this. By the end of this tutorial, I promise you that you should be able to design a Venn diagram like the way how I have done. So it is simple with the slide already um, inserted. You can go to insert, then you follow the command of shapes. Then you may go on to a uh, flow chart, but the connectors, just click on it once and then you press and hold down shift together with the left button on your laptop so you can de slide these particular shapes around. The moment you are done, you can just leave it at that point. As if it's not enough, we may need to generate two more circles. So you just press on control and D two times so that you can come up with two more circles. So having done that, you go to align and then you distribute horizontally. So at least I can now be able to separate these particular shapes like that. You can also bring this one down like the way I'm bringing. The moment you see the two um, aligns, the arrows, it means that now they are aligned properly. So you can go on with the process of removing the fill effects so you click on one and you press and hold and shift and then you select these particular circles so having done that you can go to shape fill and then you say no fill to remove the fill effects you can go to shape outline and then you may pick an outline color of your choice maybe this one and we may need the um, weight of the line to become much uh, somehow bigger then we can select one and a half points you may as well move this particular um this particular shapes you can just move it around okay I, I, yes like that so when you move it at that point you may now start beautifying this venn diagram so when you're done you can just click like that with already the venn diagram selected you just you can go to mud shapes, then you go to fragment. Yes, this uh, purpose of the fragmentation is to separate the Venn diagram into sectors. So I can click outside. So maybe I now want to fill these Venn diagrams with different colors. So I can click a particular point like the inside one, and then I fill it with a color, maybe red, according to what I've drawn. You can also click there outside of that yes it will be selected then you go to shape fill and then you pick a color maybe like that you come to the right hand side then you click on that you go to shape fill and then you may pick this particular color you come down you select your venn diagrams like that having selected it you may come up with a different color maybe shape fill you may pick this particular color so the choice is yours so guys i'm not going to continue much more but you can fill your venn diagrams with different colors of your preferred choice so even labeling you can just click anywhere and then you label your venn diagram you can put like five you can put like eight just like that and you, when you want to format this particular uh the figure inside you press select one and then you press on shift like that then you go in text fill and then you can fill your your text with different colors like that if you want to change also the the font like the size you can just go and pick that size if you want to change also the font style you can just select the font style of your choice still you can do what you want with this particular venn diagram with filling it's okay you can just select like that and then you go to fill which is under format 
you go to Sheffield and then maybe you pick green. So you see that the process become much more easier. But for the purpose of making this tutorial short, let me just do something and you can just try to complete the process. So let's go and maybe um, beautify our Venn diagrams. I can click on that. Then I select another one by pressing shift and holding down the shift and then I select this. I can go to shape effect preset and then you can pick that particular preset design when you are done you can just click outside so you see that the venn diagram is now looking attractive let's just go and try to do the animation process which is much more simpler with the animation effect you can click on one then you go to animations then you can select the animation um, type of your choice i can pick uh, fly in Maybe you want it to fly from the top left, so you can just click like that. You can also come onto the next animation. You can go on to fly in, but maybe you want it to, you go to effect and then you select it from the top right. So you can continue with the animation prefect. Uh, of your choice. When you click on that, you see that when I click on animation, it will just come like that the process continues you can do for the rest so when you're done animating this of course you can go to um, insert and then shapes we may need to draw a rectangle around this shape so we just draw it that way we leave it at that point we may go to format and then we increase uh, our the size of the line the weight so we may pick uh, two and a quarter we may also go and select uh, the different outline color so when you are done you can just click on it you can go to animation then you select the animation of your choice I can say okay I want it to zoom you just put it that way then you may also go and fill it so you can click on this then you go to format then if you go to shape effect preset and then you can select that preset design yes that one can work for you so when you come this side to the slideshow you see that it will just come like this and that particular way so that is the way how you draw your uh, Venn diagrams and you insert the animation effects if you want to insert their uh, uh, like the words outside you can also go to uh, insert then you go to shapes then you can just pick any shape of your choice I may pick this and then you can just draw it outside like that so when you're done you can just type inside then maybe how I'm just going to type all uh, how because of time how to insert a Venn diagram so when you're done you can animate this as well you can go there you can fill in you say shape fill and then you can select the fill um, color of your choice then you may go to um, effect then you go to preset and you can pick the preset of your choice you may also go and animate this so you go to animation then you can go to uh, appear that is one appear then we can now go and animate this under this animation pane you click on animation pane then you see it is here you click on this then effect option then you may say uh, animation text then you say okay appear by letter maybe you need to also reduce the time you may say after two seconds so when i click on the uh, slideshow you see that it will come that way thank you so much for watching this tutorial don't forget to like subscribe or comment on my videos